you can now play your favorite PSP games on your iPhone. With this simple quick guide, I'm going to show you how to set up the PPSSPP PSP emulator. Wow, that is a mouthful. So first things first, you need to head on over to the Apple App Store and you want to search for the app right here, as you can see, and it's got this icon. And then once you have it downloaded, just click on open and you will be greeted with this screen here and your PSP games will eventually live in here. Now you must provide games which you own. So once you provide your own games and get them onto your iPhone, they will be stored in your files folder, which you want to head to. And I've got them in the downloads folder here and you want to ensure it is .iso files as that is what the PSP emulator will be able to open. So you can see here we've got Need for Speed, awesome game pro street we've got that right here and we have got the zip file all you need to do is just click on the zip file and it will unzip it into the iso file which we need so make sure it's a zip file just tap on it and it will become an iso file and now we want to move this into the correct folder so the psp emulator can access it now to move our ISO game file into the correct folder for the PSP emulator to access it, long press on the file and then you want to click on move. Once move loads up, you want to click on on my iPhone as the location, click on it and then it's this here, PPSSPP folder, click on it again and then click again and you want to move it into the game folder so just click on in there and then click on move and that should now be moved into the correct folder so we want to come out of this and go back in to our psp emulator and you want to click on the psp button here and then click on game and you can see there we have got need for speed pro street yes our game is now available on our iphone so let's click on it here and just like that we are in need for speed pro street on our iphone oh this is awesome now the menu in the game is this little arrow up the top click on that and you can see here if you want to save it you just click on save state and there you go we have saved the game and you can exit to the menu just click exit to menu and here we are back and you can add some more games if you wish just by following the exact same steps so i am going to now load up another one of my favorites wipeout pure again we just click on the zip and then it makes our iso file long press on the iso file then click on move and we want to move it right in here to the folder we were in previously so just click on move and now head on back to our emulator Let's go back out of here and back into game. And there we go. We have now got Wipeout sitting waiting for us to play. And there is audio. You can turn it up. There you go. Hear a little bit there. Sounds good. Classic Wipeout soundtrack. Now make sure you protect your new favourite retro gaming machine, your iPhone, by picking up one of these amazing cases and skins from dbrand. Links below in the description. What a game. I absolutely loved this game as a kid and on the original PlayStation as well, Wipeout 2097, I was hooked on. There you go. Oh, this looks amazing. It does actually look really good. I'm not going to lie, the D-pad could be a little bit bigger. I'll need to check in the settings if I can adjust that. Whoa, yes. Wipe out, baby. So let's head back out to the menu. Let's just save that. And let's go to settings. There is so many different settings here you can adjust in this game. You really don't need to touch many of them. Controls is probably a good one. You can do some control mapping as well, which is pretty cool. On-screen touch controls. We can edit their layout, which is good. So if you click on them, you can move them about and you can snap them in different locations to suit yourself and you can resize them which is the biggie for me so if we can do that you can completely resize these and get whatever suits you that's 
not ideal because we want to move that one up there and we want to move that one up there and have that like that very very good so let's go back and let's continue I just realized we've got this stick there as well so this is much easier using the joystick at the bottom which I never even realized was there very very cool wipe out looks absolutely awesome on iPhone now the big question is let me know which PSP game will you be jumping in to play first on your iPhone but if PSP games are not enough for you and you want to play some original PlayStation classics check out this next video on screen right now